Y'all better tighten up. We are officially live. Good evening, good evening. What's up, Ben? What's up, Tommy? What's, What's up, up Meech? Guys? How you doing? How Tanya, you doing? thank you for tuning in, guys. Yeah, man. So it's a uh, tight lifestyle. It's Friday. We're coming at you a little bit later in the day. Me, Big Drew. Big Drew, we're here at Daytona at the Hard Rock. We got the Daytona Classic tomorrow. Yeah. Brandon Curry's guest posing. Big yeah. weekend, a lot of good stuff. Beautiful hotel, I'm ready to do it. Yeah, man. So if you don't know who Brandon Curry is, and it was it was kind of funny. I did talk to somebody, right, that actually went out to Olympia their first time. And I said, hey, listen, you know, because they're going to come out here. I said, did, uh, do you know who Brandon Curry is? You know, Brandon mm -hmm. Curry's going out there. Who's Brandon Curry? Uh, I was like, you went to Olympia this year, right? The first time? Yeah, it was awesome. I said, uh, well, Brandon Curry's Mr. Olympia. Like, that's like the guy in the, the world, right? That's like number one. Uh, she knew who Chris Brumstead was. Mm. So she's like, isn't that Mr. Olympia? Uh, Chris Brumstead won classic physique. Right, classic that's what I told her. Yeah, yeah. That's what I told her. So I said, you know, the, you know, he was Mr. Olympia of that category, but the true Mr. Olympia in old school, I guess, or the way that we should think of is, yeah. old, you know, the, the open heavyweight, you know, I, I guess that's it. So, I mean, it's, uh, it was really cool. So it's going to be awesome. Daytona Classic, me, Big Drew, IFBB Pro, Jen McEnry, where she is at check-ins right now, probably giving away free gear to all the athletes out there that are checking in, um, showing some love to them out there. we got Cody out here. I mean, we've got Meech that's going to be out here too. So Michelle's going to be out here, who's in her staff of Titan. So it's awesome. So we'll be here to answer your questions. Me, Sharice is over here in the corner watching us do this live <laughs> and uh, enjoying it, I bet, because uh, she just likes to, you know, chime in from time to time. So it's, it's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pressure is on. The pressure yeah. is on when you got the eyes on you. Yeah. You got to do it yeah. right. You got to do it right. Yeah. yeah. She, she, she gets to, oh, you know what? No, we have like a structure of yeah. like what we're talking about. We're like trying to, you know, give some tips, educate, right? She just goes on these rants, dude. Yeah. She gets bottled up. She gets all this like this fury and fire. She's like, I'm gonna do my soapbox tonight. It's working though. It's it, working. No, man, yeah, she gets right. she gets a ton of people. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it's it's not scripted. Like, and we're not scripted either. But she just she gets to say what she feels. And it's, it's crazy how much people like. I don't mean to cut you off. No, bro. No, it's no, crazy. It's, it's just how we work. No, I, I love it's, it's crazy how much people will just like to watch people get mad. Yeah. Or, 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 oh, no, okay. man, no, 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 Venting, venting. Thank you. That's a like better. That's a better vent. word. Yeah, yeah. She likes to vent. Had to dilute it a little. She likes to vent. Dilute that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dilute, water oh my God, it down a little bit. Yeah. No makeup uh, so yeah, so we're all down here, as you guys can see. Uh, it's beautiful down here. This is our first time being the title sponsor of the Daytona Classic. So you know we had to come with full force, and we're going to be out there full force tomorrow. So if you see us out there, come say hi, get some free gear, sign up for the tight newsletter or to become a patient or just to get information about how we can help you look better, feel better, perform better. And before we go into what else we're gonna talk about, like our traveling tips on the road that Big yeah. Drew's gonna mention and some other stuff, let me break it down for what we can do for you guys. So we service nationwide, we do hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, and a lot, lot more. So any therapy you think we can help you out with, give us a call. If you don't know, we can help you out and we can personalize a regimen that's doctor prescribed and monitored to fit your needs. If you just need blood testing, if you're taking over-the-counter supplements or you don't think something's right, we can help you out. So just call or text 727-389-3220 and we'll be able to help you out on all these different levels and a lot more. So let's get into it. First thing you wanna talk about. Uh, I'd probably talk about traveling. Uh, we, as you guys see us, we travel a lot. We're in hotels. Yeah. We have to, you know, make do with what we have at specific hotels. A lot of you guys are bodybuilders. You got guys bringing your food with you. If the whole ha hotel doesn't have a microwave, it's a disaster. So um, some of the things you guys can do if you don't have a microwave, you don't want to bring your meals with you. Oatmeal, oatmeal, you can always heat it up in the microwave if they have on the lobby. You don't have to, I mean, it's easy to travel. You don't have to freeze it. Egg whites, if you guys, when you, as soon as you get to the hotel, yep. find a local grocery store, go to Publix or wherever you guys have in your area, grab some egg whites. You can dump the egg whites on top of the dry oatmeal and throw it in the microwave, you have a whole meal. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Or even peanut butter and jelly. Get Ezekiel bread, all natural peanut butter, sugar-free jelly, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You don't need a microwave. 
You don't need to cook anything. It's not going to go cold. It's not going to go bad. It makes it a lot easier. Guys. And also, to bring gallons of water to the hotel. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I spent $20 on like five waters it already. It was not It was not Avion. It was, you know, it was the, it, it was from a vending machine. I, oh, it was two dollars. Oh, I'm a I stuck, I stuck $20, $20 into a vending machine. I've never done that before and I got 10 Aquafina also. Bring a gallon jug and also too, when you go to the hotel, freeze one so it's rock hard before yeah, you leave. Definitely. So you have one that's rock hard ice yeah. and have one that's room temperature. Yeah. That way as it's thawing, you could just pour it into the other one back and forth and it keeps it cold. It's a lot easier. Yeah. And you'll save like $40 off of just a gallon of water. Like yeah. it's crazy how much Absolutely. you spend on water. And so guys, if you're on here, please share this. If you're on Facebook, just press the button at the bottom, share it, please. Please share. If you're on Instagram, tag, at, three of your friends on here so we can share this information with them and they can get a kick out of kind of what we're talking about. Because we like to entertain you guys to a little extent too as well. And some of the stuff we come across guys and we see or we hear every day, trust me, it's entertaining. So we want to share with you guys. So wait, I do have to kit. insert a comment off of Drew here because sure. there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? Oh. So with that being said, just to bounce off what you said, oh is that if you guys are at this hotel, okay, and you need to get all this stuff, do not forget, there is Instacart, okay? Mm -hmm. And you can pay like three, four bucks or whatever it is, Absolutely. and Instacart will deliver this to you in one hour. So you whoa, guys have whoa, no whoa. excuses. I'm, I'm blind, I don't even know what Instacart is. Okay. Oh, Lord. Wow, so, right. True. So, so Insta know. Instacart Lord. Uber Eats, I know what I mean. All right, so okay. Instacart, I'm about to the iPhone. Yeah, Instacart is an app that you can download, and they're pretty much in every city. Mm -hmm. At that point, they're kind of like an Uber, but of grocery stores. Walgreens, CVS, Walgreens, CVS, Target, Publix, anything you want. They have everything on there. You can pick it, and they'll get it delivered to you in an hour. You can pick a time. So any of your grocery needs, if you're, you're you know, you work these hours and you're tired or you, you can't get to the grocery store, this will deliver it to you. Wow. Um, so it's really, really cool. Well, even you know, at, at home, like yeah, you know, I'm, like down, I'm downloading that. It, it, yeah, I'm too busy, man. Live, I'm, that. I'm too it, busy. Yeah. I do. I Instacart at least like two, three, four, five, six, eight yeah. times yeah. a day. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's yeah. it's it's, it's really, really good. Now it's good to go to the grocery store too. I guess sometimes you got it, you can save the money and stuff. But it's only a little bit more taxed on there. Mm -hmm. Think about your gas money. Think about your time. You know, time is money and, and a value. So at that point, you can make the decision what you want to do. But it's a really, really good option, like she said. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that that's a good traveling tip. The other traveling tip for me would be, you know, you use Uber and stuff like that. Find a place where you can get like regular chicken breasts or something that's really good for you. Mm -hmm. Nothing, you know, bad. I always say that about technology. It could be good or bad as far as Uber goes. Because Uber Eats it can bring you horrible food, yeah. and you have that temptation right there just to order it. It's real mm -hmm. easy. Before you have to get up off your couch, go down there, get yeah. the food, drive back. You're like, ah, it's just not worth it, right? Yeah. So it, you know, it's pretty funny how uh, all, all worked don't, out. Don't trust the hotel refrigerators. If no. you call and they say they have a fridge, yeah. I've been traveling for years. I've yet to see a hotel fridge that actually keeps your food cold. I don't know why. Yeah. They set on a timer. They never. So if you bring food, you might have to bring a cooler or bring some ice if you guys pack your meals. Yeah. Don't don't rely on the, the hotel fridge. Unless it's a full-size fridge. If you get a large room with a suite has a full-size fridge, yeah. But those small ones, the food always goes bad. Yeah, it's I mean, always, I, 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 it doesn't even keep the water cold. Yeah, I think it, they're just abused. It just, you know, I, I think it's it just matters what hotel, honestly. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. roll of the dice. Some of them actually have like a little freezer in there because I do travel a lot and I bring like two like um, like reusable like ice packs like the hard ones and the blue yeah, ones yeah. and I'll put them right in there and it keeps it frozen so I can usually bring it back but I always bring the cooler bag with me. I've never even seen uh, freezers work. I don't know. I've, yeah, I've never it's a really really cool. Yeah. You know, I've been in a lot and I've had to use them because of the medication, right? Because some of the medication we travel with has to be refrigerated. Mm -hmm. So if you're taking ACG or anything that's reconstituted, like some of the peptides and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like our therapy of the week, TB500, which we'll talk about here mm -hmm. shortly. Um, and you know, some of these medications have to be refrigerated. So you have to have a refrigerator and have to have something to at least keep it cool uh, while you're traveling or while you're not in the room or whatever it may be or when you're not taking the medication. So at that point, the refrigerator is one thing. If you bring a little cooler bag, you can always fill it up with ice. Usually mm -hmm. those are insulated and waterproof. Um, you can put your education in there. It's just a temporary thing. So that's another one. Or you can go to Walgreens or CVS and actually get the ice packs where you can just pop and they'll actually turn cold immediately. Mm -hmm. And you can use those for on the go. I always bring a couple of those 
with me when I'm traveling anyway, just in case of an injury or I need to use it for that reason. Um, I, I'm like to be the Boy Scouts. Like, yeah, John's the Boy Scout. Also, like, also, too, the also, too, if you guys get the freezer bags, like the Ziploc freezer bags, mm -hmm. all hotels have an ice machine. Yeah. So if you guys, your ice packs go, go bad or this yeah. and that, you can go down the hallway, fill up a couple of those with the ice, and this keeps it cold to the morning time. You can get as much ice as you want for free. So yep. yeah, that works out, too. Um, and then, uh, you know, I as far as carrying meals and stuff like that, like I really don't carry my meals, and if I do, I usually carry them to like the office and I'll heat them up or stuff like that. Um, but a lot of people do carry their meals and travel. I know Drew's one of them. I know a lot of people are like that, right? Um, and if they, let's say they're on the road and they're driving. Like he's driving down to Daytona. He's got to get a meal in or he's hungry. What does he do? He has the meals there, but it's not warm. Mm -hmm. And you know, some of us can eat cold food, but it's not the best tasty sometimes. Mm -hmm. So at that point, you got to do something about it. So what are the traveling tips for it's you? A nightmare. It's a nightmare. <laughs> I've got a couple things I, you can what do. What I do when I, before I leave, I always cook all my meals, yep. and I put them in the freezer like 24 hours before I leave, so they're rock hard, like yep. frozen solid. So that way when I get to the hotel, the ones that I bring that day are good for the day, and it lasts a little bit longer. Right. The reason why I do that is a couple of years ago, I was traveling to, um, to an expo, mm -hmm. had all my meals, all my meals used to get, they get shipped to the hotel, Put them in the fridge. The fridge wasn't working. The meals weren't bad. I got food poisoning. The next oh, day I left. I had food man. poisoning. I lost 17 pounds Dang. in two days. Oh. It was a nightmare. Yeah. So ever since then, I'm paranoid. The meals have to be frozen and they have to stay frozen. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm not going to chance it. That, that's but a, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. Don't, don't yeah, chance it's, it. It's, sure. don't, don't chance it, guys. I mean, having a stomach virus, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's really not worth it. Food poisoning, yeah. guys. You do not want salmonella. Yeah. You do not want Been there, done that. So if your food is not properly being, you know, being chilled or cooled mm -hmm. or not heated properly, you can get some of these different things. So at that point, it's not worth it. Five, six, ten bucks. Is that worth getting sick and no. losing the weight, getting hospital bills? Um, same thing with injectable therapies, like our doctor prescribed ones. I see a lot of people, and we we're talking about TB500. Hey, listen, what's the difference between this research company online and TB500 and your TB500? Well, there's a lot of differences. And one thing is, it's not for human use on there. So we're for human use, it comes from a pharmacy, but really, what are you injecting? You really don't know. Where we can tell you, hey, listen, the potency, the concentration, sterility of it is all perfectly great. So that's another thing. So back to the traveling tips. My thing is on the road, I know a lot of guys that do it, they usually stop at like a 7-Eleven or gas station because they have meals in there that people can usually heat up. Yeah. They usually heat up in there. Uh, yeah. You might be able to tip the guy at the register a couple bucks and let you do it if they give you any hassle about it. I'm sure they won't have a problem at that point. Mm. Um, another thing is, I've got something for you, Big Drew. <laughs> so I got this for Big Drew. And if you guys don't know what this is, this is a Hot Logic. Oh, yeah. So they make these uh, in this size and they make a bigger one, like a casserole size. And, and uh, they're really, really cool. There's a couple different versions. You can go to hotlogics.com. We're not sponsored. We get no money from this. This has no bearing as far as that goes. But we want to help you guys out in some of the things that we use and uh, show you guys. So he hasn't heard one of these things. I've been using it for a little bit. I can't and it's, wait. I'm excited right now. <laughs> right? This, this, is, this is cool, right? I'm ready to plug it in right now. Yeah, so really cool. And this version is, is the best. So the reason is, is because it has this, this little case on it, right? Inside has a Pyrex bowl, so you can put your meal in there if you mm -hmm. want to, right? And it's also got a car inverter charger. I was about so, to say, you can plug it in your car. So you can and for the people, that. Pyrex bowl, meaning... It's a glass bowl? A glass bowl, yeah. so you put, your, you put your the container in the glass bowl, you yeah. put the food in the glass bowl? You put the food in the glass bowl. Okay. Now? No, so, all right, I'm gonna open this up so you guys see it, okay? So, I had, to give, I had to give the Titan Blue, right? Excited. I should have let him open it up, but... All right, here it is where you carry this. So you're gonna need you're gonna need your food bag or a cooler to go with it, okay? To keep this cold. You're not gonna have this in here the whole time, right? So a pirate's bowl is this. It's like a simply store. You can boil, heat. These things don't burn or anything like that. You can put it in a microwave. You can heat it up if you really wanted to. But that's kind of what it is. It's glass. They make a plastic and a glass. Obviously, glass is. They say it's a lot better tasting as far as it goes and stuff like that as far as storage. In here is the car inverter charger. So if you have this, this plugs into a wall. And what's in here is, it's like this little heating um, like element. Wall, right? It's a he heating element right here. It's like a mini stove. Right? Mm. And it only goes up to 200 degrees. Now, it's not gonna burn you, it won't catch fire, so you can leave it actually in your car charging mm. um, and heating up. Now, it will cook raw, um, it will cook some raw meat um, all the way through, 
it's not really made to really cook the full meal. So I just take my meal on my Tupperware and just put it in there. Put it in here. Plug it in and just wait. Plug it in. So and it will stay at 200 degrees the whole time. It won't go any lower. It won't go any higher. But the best thing about it is it won't overcook your food. So it'll stay at that temperature. It'll warm it up and heat up to that point, And you'll this be good to go. Perfect. This is going to be perfect tomorrow. It's, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is going to be perfect tomorrow, guys, because I'm, I'm, I'm on a meal plan right now. I've been eating all my scheduled meals. So yeah. what happens, what I'm going to do is, as soon as I'm done with my, one meal, I'm going to put the other one in there. Yeah. So it's time to eat, and I'll just keep doing that. Having a plan. Yeah. Very, very yeah, cool. And it actually has some of the stuff in here, like some of the different um, choices of foods that you can put up in here and how long it'll take to stay in there, actually how to cook it, the recipes and stuff like that. So, you know, at that point, you can make a decision of what you want to do and it tells all the directions oh, of, oatmeal. of what oh, you're going to do. Yeah, so oatmeal, oh, like, I mean, pretty much everything. And they're really cool. I've used it out. It definitely works really, really good. Um, so at that point, check it out. If you guys are on the road and you guys want to heat your meals up or heat the food up. I'm if, surprised I've never heard of this. Yeah, so <laughs> if you guys, you know, if you guys, <laughs> the, shower. You, if you guys are the point where you're like, hey, listen, you know, I want to eat, but I can't eat clean, so all I got to eat is fast food. We're giving you guys the tools. You guys are going to use the tools, and that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. That'd be great. Thank you, man. This is perfect. Absolutely. I'm going to get it tight, and I'm going to get tight on there. Yeah. I'm going to make some. I'm going to get some embroidery yeah. and stuff like that. But this it was, this would be good for ladies that work, for guys that work at a cubicle all day long. Yeah. When you get to work, just yeah. plug in your food. It'll stay there the whole time. You might smell and get a little bit hungry, but I mean. <laughs> yeah. and, and in there, guys, it's sealed, so you yeah. won't, if you're cooking fish, per se, until you open that container, you're not going to smell anything. Yeah, this is definitely oh, well made, too. It's not oh, It's no. not like a cheap bag. Dude. It's pyrex. It's if, if you go online yeah, and actually, good. like, I didn't know this company before I ordered from them, but I heard from a friend that was, was using it, and they told me about it. It's said, yeah, John, it's really good. So, I, obviously, I like to read reviews and stuff like that. Man, their <coughs> reviews are through the roof mm. dude there's thousands and thousands of reviews um so it was obviously back like that and you know like i said there was a couple of versions but really really cool really cool man. Yeah, yeah this is perfect i appreciate that yeah, yeah dude absolutely i can't wait to plug this shit in absolutely <laughs> so tb 500 let's just talk about it real quick it's a yeah. peptide i i talked about it in titan talk tuesday it's a healing peptide it goes right along with bpc 157 in conjunction they work very well together but by itself the big, big plus about it, it, it works systemically. So it works throughout the body wherever you inject it. Mm. Where BPC-157, you want to inject it closer to the site of the injury. Mm. You know? So at that point, what it's going to do is, is it helps create new blood vessels. So it's going to help with inflammation in the body. It's going to help with ligaments, tendons, uh, muscles, joints, and really the big one is connective tissue. So at that point, there's a lot of different people that have all these different problems. Uh, shoulder problems, knee problems. I know I was, ha I say was, was having uh, a lot of elbow pain. Yeah. It was, it was hindering my lifts. I wasn't lifting as heavy as I should be. With my muscle was sacrificing because it was used to lifting a heavy load. So, yeah, well, you guys, a lot of people don't realize they have a problem once it goes away. But even looking back, like my elbows used to kill. Oh they used man, to hurt that's the worst too. You know, you're going in yeah. there and you're, let's say you're getting progress. And at that point, you get that little injury, man. It yeah. just, you know, it, it it stalls it out a little bit. It, it, it sucks, man. You Maybe know, that guy at the gym with like two elbow wraps and a yeah. sleeve yeah. and a slingshot and chalk. I don't want to be that guy. Like, Absolutely <laughs> not, man. Yeah. Absolutely not. So it's all about performing your best and stuff. So and you're actually like not getting there, like preventative. Like, you know, I think mm. that's a big thing. Um, Especially know, for sports. Tennis elbow, right? pitchers. Right. Golf elbow, elbow, I mean, golf elbow, yeah. Are you yeah. blocky? A lot of that that awkward swing movement when you, I mean, your, your elbow is yeah. supposed to move this way. So any of that yeah. twisting and everything, you know, that could. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, we're talking about tennis elbow. So tennis elbow is actually in the forearm. So in the grip, dude, on most of these people. So the best thing to do is to get over that is actually to do forearms. Yeah. You grow your forearms and strengthen your forearms, and you're less to getting it. Um, we were talking about wraps in a previous mm -hmm. well, uh, tight lifestyle show. Me and Drew. And the wraps have helped me uh, substantially as far as I haven't got it. I mean, I do use the BPC mm -hmm. as far as a preventative or if I'm having problems with the shoulders sometimes. But the wraps by far have helped me mm -hmm. um, with not getting tennis elbow too as well. So if you're having that issue with tennis elbow and there's a lot of people out there, mm -hmm. that's like if you're doing like triceps and it just hurts like right here. Yeah, that, that pinch. Oh. Or even if you're not warm. I mean, when, I, when I'm warm up, I can lift heavy weight. But if I'm not warm... 
when I used to have elbow issues, I'd go to grab a case of water out of the car and it would just hurt. Oh. It's, it's not heavy, it's just from not being warm. And you guys are using wraps. Wraps are good. Yeah. It's good to wear a sleeve to you know, keep the joint warm and the Absolutely. pain. Compressed. But, the, the, yeah. but if, if you're using it because you have an injury and you're numbing that injury, what's going to happen is you're pushing the weight, you're grinding it yeah. more. So as soon as you take that wrap off, yeah. it's going to be worse of a problem. Like yeah. taking Advil or ibuprofen. That doesn't heal your connective tissue. All it does is numb it. Right. So you grind it out and make it worse. TP500 right. fixes the problem. Yeah. And that's what you, are, that you essentially want to do. Drew's right, man. It's like, uh, you know, you're just abusing, abusing, and it's going to break down even more. Your, your injury could get a lot worse. So make sure you guys are being preventative. Don't push it past where you need to. Mm -hmm. Do everything as, as best as possible. Right. That's, right. you know, that's, that's really right. what it is. And if you have these injuries, you guys can call us. We can help you out with some of these different things. So that's definitely where it's at. Um, we've got some more therapies that are coming, guys. We've been working on some different blends and stuff like that. Uh, new peptides that we're going to be releasing out to you guys. So stay tuned to that. I want to bring up all these peptides because peptides are the big thing, man, right yeah, now. Yeah, huge. Everybody wants to huge, do peptides. Right uh, peptides are sequences of amino acids, if you guys don't know, and really cool. And these different sequences give you different results of what you're looking for. And I, I hear people too, a lot of times people say peptides, steroids, they think peptides is a steroid. Peptide is not a steroid, guys. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's completely different. You guys can Google, you can look, yeah. look at the research. Yeah. So if you hear of us talking about peptides or injections, or about TB, TB500, whether it's even glutathione, everything, those yeah. aren't steroids, guys. No, that's a super antioxidant, Yeah, it's, it's, those aren't even steroids. And no, a lot of this, some of this stuff too, you don't even need um, blood work to get it done. Yeah. As long as you fill out the paperwork and take the proper steps you need to take, you can get this stuff. So it's not steroids, it's not side effects. Yeah. Um, peptides, they may have certain side effects, but they're not harsh. Your side effects may be hungrier or more sleepy, but it's not the typical yeah. side effects that you get with hardcore steroids, like for say, like Trenbolone or Halo yeah. testing, where yeah. your blood yeah. pressures go up, you're gonna yeah. do yeah. greatness. Yeah. They're yeah. not, yeah. peptides yeah. are not yeah. steroids, guys. Yeah. They're completely yeah. safe, yeah. a lot of more, most of them are completely safe. The ones we have are completely safe. Yeah. Yes. So I mean, you know what you're getting clear yes. that up, first of all. Okay. Absolutely. You know, so I got a question this week. Um, they're like, you know, can I drink on TB500? <laughs> they, you know, they think, it, they think it's steroids. And I'm like, yeah. wait, hold on. Let, let's let's back it up. So anabolic steroids like testosterone is an anabolic steroid, okay? But at that point, or Wait till I say the steroid, like you guys are actually on stage. TB five hundred, BBC like four, one five seven, or peptides, which are not androgens, okay? So they can drink on these. Now it's not good to drink a lot, guys. So I wouldn't recommend doing that anyway. Mm. But you're not going to hurt your liver per se if you're right. taking TB five hundred and you're having a couple of drinks, okay? So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. And then the whole steroid thing, just because it's in a needle doesn't mean it's steroids. Right. <laughs> you know, these same people are the people that have got shots by their primary care physician, whether mm. it be a flu shot, an antibiotic right. that they might have had to take in. You know, maybe these guys have got, you know, I always throw it back in these people's courts too. I'm like, you know, you might have got an STD and you might have to get, you know, a penicillin shot. Mm. So at that point, it's kind of like the same thing. It's helping you out in a way but it's not always steroids, guys. It right. could be super antioxidants like glutathione or the it could, it could be the same vitamins you took orally. There's, vi there's injectable Absolutely. vitamin D, there's injectable vitamin C. Absolutely. I was sick a while back and the doctor gave me a mega dose of injectable vitamin C yeah. and knocked it out because I'm allergic to penicillin. Yeah. So I try to, if I get sick, I try to just go sky high boost the vitamins, whether it's the Titan Complete or glutathione, whatever. I just ramp it up a little bit just until I get better. So, I mean, it's not... It's definitely not steroids, guys. It's, no, it's to help your body. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make you put on, you know, no, estrogen yeah. side effects or make no. you grow yeah. nipples yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You're not gonna get <laughs> you're not like gonna that. that stuff. You know, you're, these are things that you guys need. All right. So we always talk about the needs of these things, and usually the biggest uh, rebuttal that I get if I talk in like a forum or fitness people or stuff like that, um, they're just totally against something like this. First thing, well, you can get all that from food. Yes, you can get that all that from food. If you're like Drew and you're very, very dedicated or something like that, and you got your meals with you and you got it all the way calculated through, you can probably do that. If you're me, I can barely get three meals in a day right now. It's hard for me to get some of these, these nutrients and some of the vitamins and amino acids that the thing I'm is is you can get it through food, but the amount of food, I mean Intake, a lot of yeah. a lot of times people can't eat the amount of food that they, I mean your stomach can't handle the amount of food. I mean, right? I mean, that's a lot of food. A lot I eat of, a lot of food. And a clean lot food. Of, a We're lot not even talking about food. you know just food. So you have to eat a lot. You have to eat a lot. Your stomach's going to be full. You're going to be full when you have to yeah, eat again. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not good. 
And not only, that too, not only that too, if you're eating all that food just to get something out of it, for, for instance, say red meat. Yeah. If you're eating a whole bunch of red meat just for the creatine, you'd be better off just getting some pure creatine. creatine. Yeah. So if you're eating huge, huge amounts of food just to get the stuff you get from your therapies, you don't need all the extra stuff. No. It's like when I hear these guys taking this fake ECA and they're using bronchate, caffeine, oh. aspirin. That's great. That, that's great. Oh, you're getting a result. Great. But bronchate is not what you need. I mean, so if you're taking, it'd be like taking NyQuil every single day yeah. just because you want to go to bed. Decongestion Why not take some medication. serenity and then you can go to bed? Right. Why take NyQuil if you don't have a cold? So take, you know, it's completely, it's, yeah. it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. crazy. So, I mean, at that point, listen, if you want the purest form and you want to get it the best, that's where it really comes down to. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways and substitutes that you can do things, but I mean, obviously the best transportation rate, the high absorbency, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. Quality over quantity per se. I mean, even proteins, not all proteins are the same and not all are made, um, made the same as far as mm -hmm. purity wise, their absorbency, what they're gonna do for you, um, and the class level they're at, I guess, you know, the manufacturing of it. So it's, not always good to go cheap guys so don't always look at the price tag look about what you're getting um, and what it's going to do for you really because some of these things are real easy and start you drinking a bottle or carrying around a jug all day at bca now you might want to do that that's fine if you want to do that all day that's cool uh, but if not a lot of people don't want to do that or regular people like me don't want to do that i do one little injection and i'm good i've got my branch amino acids that day i've got my glutamine my, my arginine lysine uh, these different things that i want um, and at that point, I feel a lot better. Every day I'm ready to go. I put a post up the other day about, hey, listen, everybody asks me like how I do it. Mm. And literally, it's my Titan therapies. I'm dedicated, I'm disciplined, I, you know, regimented what I do, and it falls through. And I know Drew's yeah. probably the exact same way. I'm actually, I'm not the exact same way because I, I work out I work out all the time, guys. This guy works out it. like once or twice a week. So yeah. you guys have seen his physique. You've seen he's shredded. You've seen he's shredded. You've seen he's veiny. So apparently, what he's doing is working. If he was in the gym every single day for three hours a day doing cardio and all this push-ups and sit-ups, then then we might be able to say, okay, this and that. Yeah. This guy, I'm not to, not to, not to talk down on this guy, but this guy doesn't train half as hard as I do. He only goes like twice a week and he's shredded from the therapies <laughs> and from the food. It's like true. it's crazy, it's, it's crazy. True. I know people that go to the gym every single day, working out, doing stair machines and all this stuff, and watching YouTube videos of bodybuilding, eating and all this stuff. And they're not looking the way he looks. Their stomach doesn't look the way he looks. Yeah. Why? Because they're eating what they want, going out partying on the weekend, and then trying to make up for it in the gym by doing some cheesy ass workout. Yeah. Like it, it took me a while to realize that food is where it's at. Guys. It so that's why I'm doing the meals now. That is a big that's part. Where everything is big. It is. You know, and I always tell people, you know, because they always everybody's like, you know, abs remain in the kitchen. Well, you know, I, to a certain degree, yes. To a certain degree, no. You gotta work out those muscles and muscles too, but you definitely gotta have the diet on point, guys. You are what you eat. That old saying, man, those old sayings, man, I tell you guys all the time, those are the truest statements, man. And I take them right now. I used to take them for like a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Now I take them like, man, that was knowledge. Those guys were dropping on us. What other ones can I remember and yeah. how could I apply them to myself? Or even like, if you always hear older older people that talk about, oh, I wish I would have did this when I was younger, like whether they play sports, you know, if they played baseball, I wish I would have worked out, I wish I did this, I'd be so much better. Yeah. I know a lot of guys that they have great genetics, they eat like shit, they're still shred, they're still yeah. big, they're still lean or whatever they want to look, but just imagine what they could look like if they ate right, you know. Absolutely. There's guys that have zero genetics that are doing all the right things, they're on all their therapies, they're eating, yeah. they're doing all this stuff and they look great. Just imagine if the guy that already looks great did that. Now he's just on top of the world. So yeah, man. I mean, it's it's a big part. Time of will it. tell with you guys. I mean, you could be thirty, and you could be forty, and you could be fifty, but it, after a while, that body's gonna go away, and you're gonna have to do something about it to maintain it. Guys, it, it's a fact. Your hormones are gonna decline, whether you're male or female, and over time, you're gonna be deficient, and other things are gonna start breaking down, and it's gonna be uh, you're gonna start withering in, in ways inside. So that's gonna hurt your physical appearance, the way you feel mental so at that point you really want to make sure you get checked out you get the blood work done at least see what's going on you can make an educated decision about what you want to do and how you can help yourself um, if that doctor is not willing to help you go to another doctor or we can help you out yeah. but that's really what it is I mean and then replacing those hormones and all they are is signals so you're telling you know, your body's telling itself that you're going back to when you were 21 or 25 or 30 years old as far as level wise goes mm -hmm. 
and you'll get a lot of those benefits out of it. I think that that's key. Yeah. And for me, man, I, listen, I, I wish I could get more days in the gym, but I'm going to get there. I just put it he in a lot of work. He works time. out. He works out. I'm not going to make it yeah, sound like he I, just I, looks I, like that without working oh, out. But dude, that would never happen. But if you guys were to spend a week with him to see <laughs> the amount of working out he does, to the amount of work he does in the office, to everything yeah. he does, he's not a typical bodybuilder that's no. 24 hours thinking about the gym in the gym. He has a business, yeah. he has this stuff going on. So if he could still have a physique like that off of the diet only. Look at his yeah. picture 10 years ago. He didn't look like this. Oh, hell no. He didn't look like this. That looked horrible. And I Six years ago. He didn't look like this. So, I mean, obviously <laughs> something is working. Like, obviously. Getting older, getting better, man. That's what yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> We're true titans, baby. Titan yeah. immortal. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Getting better with age. So, yeah, man. Um, it's Shout out to my Orlando guys for getting their blood work done. I was in Orlando. Uh... Last week, me and Mustafa were working out. You guys are going to see Shout more Shout out to Mustafa, too, yeah, man. Mustafa he's a, picture yeah, he's, he's a professional wrestler. Damn. He's an IFBB world champ. Wow. He's an Egyptian beast. From the, from, he's from Cairo. Nice. Um, but he's, 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 he's named down in Florida. He'll be here tomorrow. So if you guys have seen him in my videos, you want to come see him tomorrow, he'll be, he'll be around somewhere at the show. Very cool. But, uh, yeah, Very he's cool. a good guy. And uh, the, the other two guys were out there. Um, they came up to me. They had tight shirts on. They got their blood work done. They've been watching our videos. So... That's what we like to see. I'm going to be hitting more gyms, guys, too. So I'm going to yes. try to hit more gyms, give you guys some T-shirts, get the name out there. I might even go in there with an iPad Ooh. and uh, have you guys touch the iPad that we get the free, free, free everything. So, yeah. Ooh. Bags and all. You guys will be oh, set, yeah. man. So we've got a lot of different stuff, a lot of events coming up. So me and Big Drew are going to be out there tomorrow. Sharice will be out there. I mean, Pro Jim McHenry, Meech, who's Michelle in the office. Cody's going to be out there. We're going to be rocking it, taking a lot of pictures, a lot and of once photos. Once again, who's the guest? Oh, ah, uh, that would be Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia. This year's Mr. Olympia. Brandon Curry. Yeah, current Mr. Olympia. And nobody thought he was going to win. So at that point, well, he was in top three with some of them at that point. So he did. Looked awesome. He's going to come out here rocking. He's a hell of a nice guy. Yeah, it's yeah. my first time meeting him. So we'll be uh, out there tomorrow. Maybe we'll go live. So you guys stay tuned. Stay All tuned. Right? Let's do it. So this is night. We're going to go out. We're going to eat something, go train, and uh, we might go live from there. Who knows? But we'll have stuff on the story. So keep it locked on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. This will be up shortly. And uh, next Friday, Titan Lifestyle. I'm about to go heat up my food. Oh, yeah. So thanks, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And we will see you guys later.